Leaders are in Turkey to probe the assassination of Moscow's ambassador at an Ankara art show as both the sides pledged the murder would not damage the improving relations. Veteran diplomat Andrei Karlov was shot nine times in the back by off-duty Turkish policemen at the art gallery opening of a show of Russian photography on Monday. The brazen killing stunned Ankara and Moscow, which have rowed repeatedly over the Syria conflict, but in the recent weeks have begun cooperating closely on the evacuations from the war-wrecked Aleppo. Meanwhile, the body of the assassinated envoy has been taken to Moscow. A Russian plane carrying the body of the ambassador landed in Moscow, where he was to be honored in a ceremony. A three-way meeting between the foreign and defense ministers from Russia, Turkey and Iran on the Syrian conflict also went on as per schedule in Moscow on Tuesday. A joint statement by the foreign ministers of the Islam Republic, uh, Islamic Republic of Iran, the Russian Federation and the Republic of Turkey was issued agreeing on the steps to revitalize the political process to end the Syrian conflict. Turkey and Russia have said that the killing of the ambassador won't harm the ties. Turkey has though blamed the group of exiled Turkish cleric Fethullah Gulen as for the assassination of the Russian diplomat.